Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is from Network Analysis, Chapter Number Nine of Mr. Alexander and Sadiqur's book, and here we'll be solving practice problem nine point one one, and this is on the request of a student. So straight away to the question. Calculate V naught in the circuit of figures. So this is the figure given. And V naught is the voltage across the capacitor. So you can see you have a cosine signal as an input. Then there is an inductor and capacitor, uh, sorry, resistor in parallel. And with that, in series is a capacitor. So the first thing we got to do is we need to transform the circuit in frequency domain. Now this circuit is in time domain, so we have to convert it into frequency domain. And I hope you recall that uh, any cosine function uh, with magnitude can be written in this form, in magnitude and angle. Now this is the phasor form or frequency domain form. Small Vs will become capital Vs, the magnitude 50, and angle 30, this angle 30. Now, what about this omega t? Uh, we'll just note it down separately that omega is 10. So this is for the voltage source, and now the capacitor. Capacitor can be written as 1 over j omega c. Our capacitor is 1 over 20, so we can write j omega is 10 from here, multiplied by 1 over 20. So when you solve, it will be minus j2. Now let me tell you a simple trick. Here's the calculator. You have to set it in the complex mode, alpha mode, and 2 for complex. So it is in complex mode, and now we'll use this fraction option here. One at the top, write one, and then bottom is J10, so we write is 10i, or J we write i, 10i multiplied by one over 20, so one divided by 20, bracket close. Now we move ahead, press equal sign. So this is the answer, minus 2j or i. So this is what we can write directly by going into complex mode. Now next is uh, inductor, j omega l, so j 10 and 0.5, so it will be j 5. So uh, equivalent circuit will now become like this. We have replaced the voltage source by phasor 530, this one. The inductor has been replaced by J5 from here, and the capacitor has been replaced by minus J2. And now we'll solve this circuit to find V0. The easiest way is that we first of all solve these two in parallel. We're calling it Z1. And Z1 is 10 parallel 5, J5. So it will be 10 into J5 divided by 10 plus J5. And here also we'll recall our calculator. And clear. Numerator. And we can directly write J50 or 50i. So 50i in the numerator. And the denominator will be 10 plus 5i, go ahead, equal sign, so 2 plus 4i, or 2 plus j4, okay, so uh, the z1 we have found, and now from here to find v0, we can simply use the voltage division rule. And I hope you recall in the voltage division rule, also called VDR, 
the total voltage or the input voltage is divided by the total impedance. Our total impedance is 2 plus J4 minus J2 from here and multiplied by the impedance across which we have to find the voltage. So multiplying it by minus J2. And if we solve this, we find this answer. And actually from here, we can find it into polar form. So this will be in polar form. Now let's see, calculator, clear. In the numerator 530, so 50 angle for angle this is angle sign so we press shift angle 30 the numerator is done but we can multiply with j2 here as well so let's put bracket to be on the safe side bracket and then Another bracket minus 2i bracket close. The numerator done. Now let's go to the denominator 2 plus. Now you can see this is j4 plus and minus j2. So you can straight away write uh, j2 or 2i. We'll write 2i. We go ahead equal sign now this is wrong there's something wrong with this setting of the calculator let me pause it okay what is wrong here is that the calculator is in radian mode so we have to change this mode into degree mode for that we go to shift mode and three is for degree so let's change it to the degree mode and we can go back. I hope we can go up. If we, no, this is not, we have to do it again. Okay, 50. Shift angle. 30 bracket this is also bracket close and multiplied by minus j2 so minus 2i bracket close numerator done denominator is 2 plus as I said, we can write it with left right. 4i minus 2i. So this is done. Equal sign. And now we got the correct answer. So you have to keep in mind that this has to be in radian, uh, sorry, degree, because we are using degree here. So minus 9.15 from here and 34.15 but as i told we our answer we want in into polar form so for that we have to press shift and go to this option complex button number two and then we have to select r theta three equal sign now this is in under root form we press sd now it is 35.355 or 35.36 and angle is minus 105 degree so this is how you calculate by going into complex mode okay so now this is in polar form uh, we have to go back into the rectangular form and remember this was the question in cosine form so from here also we will write the answer as v small not magnitude 35 cosine of 10 t and we just change the angle to be minus 105 i hope you have been able to follow this please let me know through your comments thank you